All right, so today, what we're gonna be talking about, studio. Boom. All right, so you're in the studio, which is just the designated corner of my living room. So on this wall, we have fish tank. On this wall, we have studio. And on this wall, um, window drapes. And in that corner, we have stuff another window and drapes but look hi kiwi oh she's so pretty she's worn out because we went disc golfing earlier so today what we've done is upgrade so to speak uh, we've been running a geek pro as opposed to a gopro we've been really using our smartphone without any stabilization uh, we've been using our um, whatever comes inside of the laptop for webcam and really it's choppy it's crappy and above that we also haven't been able to use or monetize because music is golden in today's day and age so as far as starting a new youtube channel i have a lot of hobbies as you can see fish cameras gear computers software blah 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 everything that everybody else is but i also love nature i love going out and enjoying um, that space, that time, that, that freedom. I like fishing. Um, I like camping. So when I go out, as opposed to just being out there, I'd love to share it. So what I'm going to do is do my best to start vlogging more. So that'll be a lot more like travel videos, just documenting my spot. And then as we go along and start building the studio, I might be able to do some product reviews and just days in the life so um let's just get started i want to show you guys my equipment in this video i want to show you um, how i have everything packed up we did do our practice shoot because uh, all this stuff is brand new to me that i'll be showing you and uh um we can maybe go in later depth of what i've spent as far as how what this is to get started obviously my lighting in here is pretty shoddy I got a key light up against my wall over here. Um, I've got a light over here with a hat on it so it's not so bright. And then we have our above head fan that should be running because it's August and it's really hot. I'm sweating under this brow. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you what we're working with. All right, the studio spot. So the studio spot centerpiece is the HP Omen. It's a gaming laptop, 16 gigabytes of RAM. I have the Adobe Suite loaded on it, running Windows 10. Uh, so far, so good. Export time is pretty good. We did upgrade now too, so we can use our Tab A 10.1. Has a nice carrying case, uh, backsplash um, stand, and blah, blah, blah. Up here we have our Hero 7s. Uh, silver and black, as well as an Artman um, accessory battery pack bank that has three additional batteries. The secondary monitor is the big 50 inch Samsung uh, HD TV, which has smart technology, which sucks because it really does still, still doesn't connect with the Wi Fi. So I have to do it with my computer anyway, so this is perfect. But. <laughs> Um, with that said, um, it's really nice because I can sit across the room whoop, with Kiwi, use my wireless mouse and keyboard, and uh, usually it works pretty flawlessly. Sometimes I'll have to move the couch up, but I can still work at a distance from my computer and not have to sit in my computer chair. So this is what we're going to be and how we're packing when we go out on the road. Makes it easy. So let's get into it. All right, perfect. First things first, the pack and tripod. So I just attached, there's a little thing on the side, blah, 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 that holds the tripod. 
it works wonderfully. Inside, we have stuff, lots of stuff. Um, this is a Comica microphone that goes on top of a DSLR. Make sure that you include batteries. This takes AAA batteries that are not included. So when you get it, don't get too excited and run directly out to go shoot video and plug it in and realize then later that your audio is not there. That's number one tip. Got some LUTs. Oh yeah, that's what they call them in post. That's fine. So a UV filter, FL field filter, and an SCPL filter, Pro CPL filter. Um, these go on the ends, uh, just protect and help with stuff. Um, Kiwi, this is for her. So this goes on her back, straps around her front legs, and uh, attaches a GoPro. It's beautiful. We have our um, lens, telescoping lens that came with the bundle that we picked up. Canon. So this is a 18 millimeter to 55 millimeter. It is not auto, but it has focus ring and adjustable ring and it's beautiful and it has a cover and it's, I'm sure once I figure out how to use all of these things, it's going to make for some amazing shots. So that goes right there. Now I did put the camera at the bottom of the bag, however, if you'll notice, I did add some extra padding so that when it hits the bottom, it's not abrasive against the camera. Uh, the, here's the DSLR. We have an EOS Rebel T7i um, with all your standard settings. Uh, Wi-Fi is included. And then here on the back, we do have a flip out LCD screen, touch screen. It's beautiful. The menu works wonderfully. I have tried this out. Again, the audio was horrible, but the pictures were great. And the one thing is, even though on the lens it says that this is stabilizing, let's see, stabilizer's on, um, with my hands, doesn't work. So uh, this is probably not going to be used for anything other than on tripod. But we'll see. It's all about learning, right? So that Comica did come with that, which if you don't know what that is, then um, check out someone else's YouTube channel. And then um, this is uh, just another GoPro tripod, easy to go. I don't like the grip personally, but I do like how um, pliable a lot of these are. So that's nice. And it's a little flimsy. Oh, probably because I don't have that tightened down all the way at this point. But um, it's really funky. Um, really just like Play-Doh. But it'll do the job for a GoPro. So that's what they send with that kit. So that's beautiful. Then we have a telephoto lens and a wide angle lens and a battery charger. So that all just fits in here nice and beautifully. And we still have room up here in the top for more stuff like GoPros. It just gets a little bit not as tall at the top. But ultimately, pretty good bag. And then over here, we have a battery slash smartphone charger with a USB ends. And um, really, this is just for charging if absolutely necessary. I do have it fully charged now. And I also have a USB mini, USB-C, and actual plug-in with USB attachment in that pocket. So, that's nice. Also on the other, we have some netting. So any other additional things that we need to throw in, like e-cigarettes, juice, all the essentials, that's what goes in there. Additionally up here, more netting inside. So, has to be utilized appropriately.
Perfect. DJI Mavic Mini. Beautiful case. You do have to say something because this is just beautiful. Still have a QR code on it. Wow. Okay. So we've been really enjoying this. Inside, you have a drone, three batteries, and a control. So there are three different attachments for these. I have the USB-C, but you have it for Apple, and you have it for a USB mini. So that I just keep in the bottom in case my phone goes dead and somebody else wants to play it with the drone. You can fit other things still under the controller. Very small amount of room. However, it's good that it's compact. You do not want your drone stuff moving around like crazy. Battery bank, fully charged. The LCD lights here on the top. Four indicates full, 375, two's 50, one's 25% roughly, and it will charge um, the weakest battery first. Uh, does double also as a phone charger or USB attachment, so you can use this battery bank also like the other. Although you do not want to do that because if you have this drone, you want to use all your batteries. The gimbal itself, or the drone itself, has a gimbal, gimbal covering, 2.7K resolution, sensors only on the bottom. Same thing as for the remote, to turn it on, you press once, and then hold it, press it again, hold it down, until the lights indicate and it'll go click, and you'll know that it is activated and ready to rock and roll. But that has been a big joy thus far. If you haven't already, you can see on my channel, there's a, a montage of me out at Lake Walcott that is strictly done with the DJI Mavic Mini. And I did use a light LUTs plugin to kind of seed up the graphics. However, this is a beautiful case. Let's make sure we close it. And recommend buying it. If you're a starter drone pilot, it's uh, under the spec, so you don't have to register, and uh, you can technically just have really professional um, flights. So let's turn it upside down, or rather right side up. Beautiful. In here, GoPro stuff. Some weird water weenie stuff. Uh, wrist rocket. A headband. And my body kit. We also do have another um, whatever thing, tripod, mini tripod, a adapter, and that'll fit a smartphone or the GoPros, and a waterproof case. So also in the baggie here are three different um, LUTs or filters that go with and over the front of the waterproof. So when you're underwater, you can get a lot better visuals. So I just have packed it all in here really softly, soundly, maybe made it really comfortable in there so that everything works beautifully. All right, and then additionally, we have our heroes. So the heroes of the day is a Hero 7 Silver, the Hero 7 Black, and the Artman 3 Battery Bank Pack. Here's the thing. With this, it only works with the black. Because the silver, you cannot replace the battery. There's a lot of downsides to the Hero 7 Silver, but I don't care. Because when we get our gimbal, it's just going to be used for some time-lapsing. So, there you go. We're going to figure out the best way to use these and make it count. All right, so there you have it. There's the pack, the DJI Mavic Mini, and our accessory pack. So this is what we're going to be taking on the road when we do our little travel thing. And this is how I broke down how I'm going to be using each camera. Hero 7 Silvers for time lapse, Hero Blacks for action, Canon T7Is for more dialogue and perspective because I'm really bad with handling it so far. And then the DJI Mavic Mini for my aerial B-roll. It's going to be fun, guys. So if you would... Subscribe to the channel and come back for more.
when we get more cool new toys. Peace.